Hi, this is Mr. Estrada. In this video, we are going to go over number 35 from the August 2012 geometry regions. As shown in the diagram below, the diagonals of parallelogram QRST intersect at E. If QE equals x squared plus 6x, SE equals x plus 14, and TE equals 6x plus 1, determine TE algebraically. So they went ahead and labeled the given information for us. Okay, now, what we have to do is think of a way to relate these expressions or some of these expressions so that we can get a value for x. Because once we know what x is, then all we have to do is substitute for x here, and we will know what T E is. Well, how can we relate these expressions? Well, we're told that this is a parallelogram. That's important because if I know that this is a parallelogram, then I also know that the diagonals are going to bisect each other because in parallelograms the diagonals bisect each other that's one of the five properties of parallelograms so I can say that QE is equal to ES because they bisect each other so E is acting like a midpoint so QE is equal to ES because the diagonals bisect each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and write QE equals ES here. So since QE equals ES, I can write X squared plus 6X equals X plus 14. Right? Because X squared plus 6X represents QE and X plus 14 represents ES. So you should know that now you're dealing with a quadratic. And the way to solve a quadratic is to make it look like this. So I want to set it equal to zero. So I'm going to move the x to this side. That's going to cancel out the x's here. And I'm going to move the 14 to this side. That's going to cancel this out here. And I'm going to be left with zero on the right side and I get x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals zero right 6x minus x is 5x and that negative 14 so now the next step is to factor this trinomial trinomial here so x and x is going to multiply to give us x squared. I need two numbers that are going to multiply to give me c and at the same time are going to add up to give me b. So what are those two numbers? Well I know that 7 and 2 are going to work because since I need to multiply to a negative 14 and I need to add up to a positive 5, I can go ahead and make this positive and make this negative, right? Because 7 plus negative 2, that's 5, and 7 times negative 2, that's negative 14. So what do I get for x? Well, x plus 7 equals 0 x minus 2 equals 0. We got to solve for x on each one. This is going to be x equals negative 7. And here I'm going to get x equals 2. Right? Because the additive inverse of negative 2 is going to give me 2. So which one do I use as my value for x? You're going to use 2 and you're going to reject this value. Let me explain why you use the 2. Because 
if you used the value of negative 7, it's not going to work for TE because negative 7 times 6 is negative 42, negative 42 minus 1 is negative 43. There's no such thing as a negative length, so that's why you reject the negative. We're going to use x equals 2, and that's going to work very well for us. Because, think about it, 2 squared plus 12, that's going to be 12 plus 4, that's 16. You get 16 here, and 2 plus 14, you get 16 here. So it works out. It met the condition that parallelograms bisect each other. These two have to be equal to each other. Okay, now going back to the task at hand, determine TE algebraically. Well, TE is represented by 6x minus 1, that's 6 times 2 minus 1, that's 12 minus 1, that's 11. TE is 11. Okay, thank you for your time, I hope that helped.